Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain controllability and observability of the system using Kalman's test. In this video, I will also solve one interesting example based on controllability and observability of the system. So first of all, you need to understand what is controllability and what is observability. Let me explain that by one example. Let us say we have one system that is having three states state 1, state 2 and state 3. If you can control all three states using input, then you can say system is controllable. For example, if you have state 1, if you can switch from 1 to 2 and from 1 to 3 using inputs, then you can say state 1 is controllable. Likewise, as if all the states are controllable, then you can say entire system is controllable. If you want to understand observability, then that you can understand based on output. See from output, if we can predict all the states, then you can say system is observable. So system is controllable if it is possible to drive the system from any initial state to any desirable final state in a final amount of time using suitable control inputs. So if you can control all the states using input, then you can say system is controllable. If the system state can be determined from the knowledge of system's output, then you can say system is observable. So here we are delivered to understand how to identify controllable states and uncontrollable states and that I will explain you using Kalman's test. So let me explain that by one example. See here we have question and in this question we need to check controllability and observability and also we need to compute number of controllable and observable state for the following system. So here we have state equation and output equation. So from state equation and output equation we can identify matrix A, B, C and D. Let me explain that first. So here we have first equation that is state equation and what is state equation? State equation is x bar is equals to ax plus bu and here we have output equation. What is output equation? Output equation is y is equals to cx plus du. So if you can compare this two equation with given data then we can identify A, B, C, D. Here we will be having matrix A that is system matrix that is 0, 1, minus 1, minus 2. Here we have matrix B that is 1 and minus 1. Here we have matrix C that is this matrix that is 1 and 1. And here we have matrix D that is 0 over here as we don't have anything over here, right? To identify controllability, first of all, we need to identify controllability matrix Q of C. Once you identify controllability matrix Q of C, you need to identify rank of the matrix as if rank of the matrix that is equals to order of the matrix, then you can say system is controllable. So now, we need to identify Q of C to identify controllability of the system. Q of C can be identified using A and B. First of all, you need to understand what is the meaning of Q of C. Let me explain that. See here, we need to understand what is Q of C. Q of C matrix that is matrix B, then AB, then A square B, then a cube b up to a to the power m minus 1 b and always remember this q of c that matrix will be m cross m matrix and that we can identify based on size of a here size of a is 2 cross 2 so for our case it will be 2 cross 2 matrix so here this q of c if you want to identify this then practically for our case it will be B and then AB. Now let me explain how to identify this Q of C. 
so if you observe b is there with us so that is column matrix so you need to write 1 minus 1 over here then we need to identify matrix multiplication of a b so here we have a and here we have b now to identify this element we need to multiply this b with row of a that will be 1 into 0 plus minus 1 into 1 so that has to be minus 1 over here and this element that will be this row into this column so 1 into minus 1 plus minus 2 into minus 1 so that is plus 1 over here so this is how we can identify q of c now to identify controllability we need to identify rank of q of c and to identify rank of q of c first of all we need to identify magnitude of q of c so magnitude of q of c that is 1 into 1 minus minus 1 into minus 1 so that is 0 as if magnitude is 0 then you can say rank that is not equals to order if you have this that is not 0 then you can say rank is equals to order but here we have magnitude of q of c that is 0 so rank is not equals to order and one more thing that you can say given system is not controllable now if you observe the question then in question we need to compute the number of controllable and observable states right so if you want to compute controllable states then we need to compute rank of this q of c to identify rank of this q of c now we need to identify sub matrix of q of c one should know sub matrix of q of c that is having order that is m minus 1 cross m minus 1 order right and if you observe here we have 2 cross 2 order so m minus 1 cross m minus 1 order that will be 1 cross 1 order only right now what is that let me explain that see here we will be having qc of 1 1 now that will be having order of 1 cross 1 so qc of 1 1 that is this right so that is 1 if you observe qc of 1 2 so that is this that is minus 1 if you observe qc of 2 1 so that is this so that is minus 1 if you observe qc of 2 2 so that is this that is 1 now here we need to check whether this sub matrix that is not 0 or not so if you observe here we have this element that is not 0 if any single element is not 0 if any single element if it is not 0 then you can say now this is the order that is rank of q of c so here now you can say rank of q of c that is m minus 1 and that is 1 over here and one should know controllable states that is rank of q of c so here controllable states will be rank of q of c and here rank is 1 so one state that is controllable and one state is uncontrollable now we need to understand observability of the system to identify observability we need to identify observability matrix and same practice that we need to do as we have done it over here so let me explain how to identify observability matrix observability matrix that is also having order of m cross m only and one should know observability matrix q of o that is matrix c then ac then a square c up to a to the power m minus 1 into c that is how we have observability matrix over here but in our case if you observe m cross m that is 2 cross 2 only so here our observability matrix that will be c and then ac only right that is 2 cross 2 only so here you need to understand how to identify ac c is already there with us so here we have 
a and here we have c let me take it to have a calculation of a into c now i will use matrix a and matrix c to identify observability matrix so you can observe here we have matrix c that is 1 1 so matrix c that is 1 1 that we need to place it over here now we need to identify a into c so here a into c that is having two elements row wise if you want to understand this element then that will be this row into this column right so 1 into 0 plus 1 into minus 1 so that will be minus 1 over here and this element that will be this row into this column so that will be 1 into 1 plus 1 into minus 2 so that is 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 now we need to identify rank of observability matrix and that we can identify based on magnitude of q of naught then magnitude is 1 into minus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 that is 0 as magnitude is 0 over here you can say rank of q of naught that is not equals to order right here order is 2 so we don't have order is equals to rank so here we need to identify sub matrix of q of naught so that is having order that is m minus 1 cross m minus 1 practically that is 1 cross 1 over here right now if you observe the sub matrix over here then that is having only one element right and those elements are q naught of 1 1 that is this one only then q naught of 1 2 that is again one over here then q naught of 2 1 that is minus one over here and q naught of 2 2 that is minus one again right now we need to see whether single element is not zero or not right so if you observe all elements are not zero so that is not zero what it means now we have rank of q of naught rank is order of this sub matrix that is m minus one so that is one what it means it means we have one state that is observable state right observable states are rank of q of naught so here we have one state that is observable and another state that is unobservable state so that is how we can identify controllability and observability always remember in controllability we need to identify controllability matrix and from controllability matrix we need to identify rank of controllability matrix as if controllability matrix that is having magnitude which is not zero then directly you can say rank is equals to order and system is controllable but here q of c that is zero means given system is not controllable and in this question we need to identify how many states are controllable and how many states are observable so for observability we need to identify observability matrix and after identification of observability matrix we need to see whether magnitude of observability matrix is zero or not if it is not zero then directly you can say system is observable means all the states are observable right here i have took example of two state system where if it is not controllable and observable then for two states we need to check for sub matrix of qc and q naught here we have seen with sub matrix it is not zero so we can say one state is controllable one state is observable and one state is uncontrollable and one state is unobservable right now in next video i will increase complexity of question here this was first question in which i need to explain you all the fundamentals in next video i'll increase the complexity thank you so much for watching this video